started. Space Explorers between the lines. Three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. We're off. Red Alliance trying to make their way out of the half, having a little bit of trouble. We'll see if they can do it under visual obscurity, if they're able to get out past that half line. Not quite able to make it happen. So Blue Alliance with the advantage. Red had a little bit of trouble getting out across the half line. Wonderworks falling off level two. So no points for the Sandstorm half cross. But now Wonderworks ready to take up a defensive posture. Trying to prevent that cargo ship score. But they can't quite do it. Fighting through the defense is Delta Overload of the Blue Alliance. Robo Chargers, reliable hatch scorer that they are, places the fifth hatch panel on that Red Alliance rocket ship. Final hatch panel is in their possession. Moving up, can they get it to hang? Yeah, that one's good. Now it's time for cargo. Red Alliance wants that bonus ranking point. Chargers, no, drop the cargo. Can't quite get it placed in that Red Alliance rocket ship. Lots of action down on the blue side of the field. Points all over the place. 60 to 21, under a minute left. Clover Robotics place another cargo down in that blue rocket ship. 40 seconds left now. That sound means there are 30 seconds left in this match. Blue places another cargo. 20 seconds left. Can Red finish this rocket? There goes 2005. With a cargo, they see another one right behind them. That was fortunate. Moving over, elevator up. Yeah, they finished that rocket ship. Now can they get back in time? Three seconds, two, one. No, Red cannot finish. The level three climb, Blue Alliance got the three, a two and a one. 95 to 45, 18 Red Alliance penalties that match. Some risky defense being played. And the Blue Alliance was the beneficiary. Didn't decide the match, but it definitely makes that score look a little bigger than it really is.